What's up guys, I'm really excited. We have a new unboxing review. These have new unboxing review. New club review unboxing. <laughs> Why we, ne when we do, un I know I'm strong. Why when we do unboxing reviews, we never have a, a, knife? Bo a box cutter around. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we got something here that's a little above our pay grade. Probably have no business hitting them, but check it out. Opa. But he, I had. Yeah, if you're like me, you've th thought to yourselves, you know what? I think I should probably be hitting blades. I and can do. And if you are like me, you're wrong. <laughs> we should be hitting blades. <laughs> but we're gonna find out for sure whether or not so we should or shouldn't be hitting blades. So these are the new. I did them murdered out too, because I'm oh, like, if we're doing shaft blades. And everything. Yeah, so we got the steel fiber, all black shaft. Oh my goodness gracious. That is just straight sexy. What do you think of it? Holy crap. Mike. So these are the ST. Mikey. These are the STs uh, as, a eight, <laughs> as an 18 handicapper. I promise you, I shouldn't be hitting these but that's not gonna stop us from trying. I'm no. curious to see how actually oh goodness. unforgiving they are, but these are probably the sexiest set of golf clubs I've ever seen. What, tell me about the shaft. I don't know much about it. <laughs> <laughs> I promise six iron is not the first one to hit. All I know is Bobby likes them. I did, I did uh, Bobby's one of our PXG fitters, by the way. I did test this out in the simulator and I hit this shaft. I have a problem trying to get the ball, my ball flight into the air. So this promotes like a high launch angle. And I did pretty good with this, but I didn't do the best with it. So, oh my goodness. I mean, there's something, get that out of there. Get that out of there. There's something about standing over it though. It's intimidating. That is thin. This is an eight iron. Do you feel like I should be trying with something different? Should I give it a whack? No, eight iron's a good one. Should I give it a, give it a whirl? Yeah. Let's just do one. Get a scuff on it. Just to see. I mean, I didn't Nose dive blow it, but definitely not my 140 it yards. It's, the thing is with blades is if you're not directly in the sweet spot, you're gonna lose a lot of yards. Go ahead. So I normally hit my eight iron. Is this set for altitude? Yeah. So we play at altitude at 5280 in Colorado. So I normally hit my eight iron about 165, 170. Nope, I, I mean, I, I know I'm not hitting it in the sweet spot. Well, and this isn't your first set of blades you've tried. No, I've had a Nike set of blades and uh, that lasted about half a season before I realized I was in over my head. Yeah. You wanna give it a whirl? Yeah. Here's the thing, when you actually do find a sweet spot, Go it's ahead. a thing of Go beauty. Ahead. No, you missed it. I did a. Oh, I see. Like a chef's kiss. My back was turned. Yeah, sorry about that. I might not hit this good, not because of the blades, but because it's not my lie angle. I'm just kidding. What do you normally hit your eight iron? Uh, 185. Yeah, you're, you're definitely losing yardage. I don't know. Nope. I'll be a son of a gun. <laughs> 186. Did you sweet spot it? Yeah, that felt really good. Let's see. Pretty good. One more? Yeah. Give me another one. Oh. All right, let's get Bobby down here. Oh. Oh my God. 196. You kidding me? Here's the thing. That's two out of, I'll do that two out of 10 times, I bet. Tate, I'm, I'm like an 18, Tate's a nine. So he's twice as good as me. So if you might have an easier time with a blade. I'll sell you this set. <laughs> <laughs> what so are you hitting there, gap? Pitching wedge. Okay. So I gotta get in some lower clubs. All right, preface here. us, what's your normal P? About a buck 50. Okay. Roughly. Thin, caught her thin. Man, for a blade miss hit though, that's the one. It actually did get in the air. Yeah. Now we're gonna test these up against like the Gen 5s. 
So being just a solid, here's the thing, it's solid milled club head. So there's no infill, there's no gel. I mean, there's, it's basically like a full set of sugar daddies. Milled sugar, <laughs> it really is. Yeah. We're gonna put this up against not only just Gen 5, but our bags. How is this compared to our bag? And we're gonna do a mega PXG review. We're gonna review the O211s, the Gen 4s, the Gen 5s, and now the ST Blades. Yeah. We have the full catalog here. Thin again. That one went a lot further. Let me catch one. I just need yeah. to catch one. Just feel that butter. It's a pitching wedge. I should be able to catch a pitching wedge. That one I caught fat. I was trying not to catch it thin. Ugh. Do me a favor. Yeah. Hit this one sweet. Trevor and I, we played uh, Pebble Beach and we had a caddy. His name was David. David, if you're watching, shout out to you. You're a great caddy. There's probably no way in the world you'd find this, this channel. But he would tell us, he'd say, okay, what's 170? Give me 173. As if we have that ability. Oh, that's it. That was butter. That's it, finally. So sometimes I try and do that to Trevor too. Like, hey, yep. give me this shot. Let's do it. Let's see. 158. It. Let me see one. You have, you have to have positive. Yeah. Positive vibes, positive affirmation. So this, this is the two seven irons here. So this is a gen four players seven iron. So like medium forgiveness. This is the seven iron blade. So a lot thinner, a lot, uh, a lot harder to hit because you're room for error. So obviously lower handicap guys play these clubs. Cause they're finding the sweet spot. They're finding the sweet spot, but also the advantage to them is <coughs> after you can consistently hit the sweet spot, then what it's time to do, it's time to shape your shots. You see guys like Jordan Spieth and stuff, they'll, they're talking to their caddy and like, okay, I think, I think this is a soft draw here at that flag stick. Like they can see the shot into the flag stick. Soft draw into the flag stick, like I'm happy if I hit the green. Yeah. I'm gonna take dead aim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if mine's moving left, it's a snap hook. Oh yeah. Yeah, when I try to play a slight draw, it's a duck hook. <laughs> like, watch out for Timmy in the yard yeah. because he's going down. Yeah, poor Timmy on his backyard swing set. Oh, see, Timmy's dead there. <laughs> Timmy? What is that? Seven, Seven? Oh, that's not. Oh. Seven iron blade. I, in my head, I just want to hit blades so bad, I just Five iron, that. now this is going to be your test. So they do have the perimeter, not the perimeter weighting, but the, the weighting. So that is the one adjustable piece is the heavier or softer weights. I mean, look at this, it's like paper thin. It's literally like a giant, like a five iron version of a wedge. That sounded good. Yeah, well, I'm hitting them good. Here. Take a five. Oh. Five-y. A five iron is not my club. Let's try it. Well, with that kind of talk, man, I feel like a fitter right now. Just go ahead, try it, give that a whirl. I mean, you must have sweet spotted that one, huh? 226? Yeah. Let's give it one more go. Oh. Oh, oh see? See, <laughs> when, it, when you hit it, it's a thing of beauty, but when you- go you, from 226 to 144. When you hosel it, uh-uh, uh-uh. All right, redemption. Mm-mm, mm-mm. We're gonna have to do a side-by-side -side with the Gen 5s. And, and measure specifically, like we almost want to be hitting miss hits. Yeah. To see what happens on the miss hits. There's sweet spot again. Oh, look at that. That's like a tiger stinger right there. You flew 209. 
235 iron? See, there you go. Yes, There's please. Two sweet spots, two miss hits. No room for error. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'll be a son of a gun. But chances are, at your skill level, even though you're better than me, still not there. You're going to have a lot of miss hits out on the golf course. Yeah. So I don't know if time. I don't know if it makes sense for you. No. But we'll we'll have to put it in the sim and uh, let's do that. What's the sim short for? Simulator. Simulator. Yeah. Uh let's let's uh let's put them up against Gen 5 and try some miss hits. See what happens. Let's do it. All right, so we we were kind of just all over the place, so we figured we better get dialed in here a little bit. So we put our stickers on our seven iron. Which, by the way, again, just how beautiful is that thing? And we're gonna test it and really see how bad an off center hit is, because that's what I want to know: is how much are we getting punished punished for off center? Yeah. Should I go first? Okay. Let's see if I can hit one the center of the club face. Probably unlikely. Oh my goodness. Toe, 75 yards. Oh. Thought I healed it a little bit. A little thin, not too bad, but, but still losing yardage. What's your normal with number, 170? Uh, 180-ish, so that was 159, so I lost about 20 yards. I feel like with my Gen 5s, they're gonna be a little more forgiving than that. But let's see. Yeah, just thin and a little toey. All right, let's see what Tate can do here. Still, I'm still not in love. Pulled it a bit, but. That was the sweet spot. Yeah, center of the club. Oh, let me try one more. Oh, you still got 156 out of it. And that one was more sweet spot, just left it wide open. You just healed it. Yeah, let's see what it says No, here. it wasn't sweet spot, that was way off the heel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That sounded way better. I towed it a bit, but say I'm still losing yardage, 147. See, I'm not, that was a pretty good spot. You know, it's a little off center, but pretty good spot. You gotta be, you gotta be right in the middle, I feel like, don't you think? Yeah. Right in the middle. That was better. Closer to the middle of the club face. Still though, still not getting my full yardage out of it, 160, and that one felt good. I'm, de I mean, I'm a higher handicap than Tate. I'm definitely not cut out Me for try these one one more. That's pretty good. Still healed it a bit. Everything for me leans towards the heel. But you're, you're getting still premium yardage even off an off-center shot. I'm not. Yeah. But every shot, even my Gen 5s, I lean towards that spot right there. That's where my marks are always at. Your miss is on the heel? Yeah. Okay, so the question is, guys, how, that's our unboxing review of these guys, but how are they gonna perform against Gen 5, especially when it comes to miss hits? Here's what we're gonna do. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're gonna do a mega PXG iron review. We're gonna do a seven iron of the 0211, seven iron of the Gen 4, seven iron of the Gen 5, seven iron of these new blades. Stack them up against each each other. Like I said, we're mid handicappers, we're amateur golfers. So we like to do reviews based off of the amateur golf. With the majority of golfers out there. Yeah, because a lot of these guys, a lot of these guys that do reviews, they do great reviews, but they're really, really good golfers. So they're not seeing huge discrepancies between clubs yeah. because they're already so good. Their miss is a lot different than our miss. Yeah, so for the amateur golfer, it might put it in perspective off of which clubs you should be hitting uh, the PXG lineup. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Check out our awesome barbecue showroom and our barbecue uh, channel as well. We'll see you guys next time.